hello good evening my name is Muhammad Asim welcome back to the channel uh, today we will be continuing from the last episode and we will cover how to install Nexus right uh, as using docker image we will create a one docker container out of docker image and we will install a docker container and we will try to access uh, through the IP address and the container port mapping in the last episode we have already covered how to install a nexus uh, on our ec2 instance uh, today we will be covering how you can use docker image and you can uh, install using docker container okay so this will be a quick section, a quick section. we will cover only some of the points in this session and we will cover up let's go and check it out is there any docker image yes on the docker hub there is a there is an image of sona type nexus right so in order to do that we required one ec2 instance so what we will do we will go and install quickly one ec2 instance right if i check over here then i'll giving as a nexus just to remember then i'll go with the ubuntu right and i'll go t2 micro just for the testing purpose then i'll create one uh, key pair and i'll give it a one two three four okay create the key pair that it will be downloaded in a uh, download folder then i'll keep everything is uh, as default we will open the post later on okay so just quick and launch so the instance is getting launched just wait for the few seconds uh, in order to do that okay so this time what we will do it uh, we'll go back to the instance we'll wait for the few seconds right and uh, we will try to install the docker uh, image right so just we'll click over here and we will wait so that the check is passed two by two right okay our instance is uh, in the running stage so what i will do it i will take the access right using mobile storm right this is a third party tool through which you can make a sss connection to your servers okay to your vm just i'll give you over here as i'm using uh ubuntu operating system so by default it will be ubuntu user right so i'll just uh give the path of my downloaded key right and i will click ok so now i should be able to successfully connect to my vm right to the instance so i'm able to connect okay so if i check over here uh, just host name right i am seeing that there is a ip address of our ec2 instance fine okay uh, just if i check a host name ctl then i should be able to see all the details related to my ec2 instance that uh, i have a linux right i have ubuntu 22.04 lts version the architecture of this is 8464 and hypervisor is there uh, the model type and this is a machine id this boot id the vm is there computer and the id of right static host so this uh, part is done so the first thing what i will do it i will just uh, update my packages right sudo apt update hyphen wife so the packages gets updated right so quickly what we will do it uh, in order to do the next step i uh, will go to our our blog where i have already how to install uh, docker on your ec2 ubuntu image that is there there you can go and find it out right this is this link also i'll provide to you just what i will do it uh before that in order to do that i will just rename so that i should remember this is docker uh server right so just i will use bin slash so the changes should reflect now if you check it over here i'm in the ubuntu right uh, the name of instead of ip is changed to docker okay fine this is done uh, we have done already uh, i already updated the package but still just i'm following the documents so i'll just mention over here okay let's up, get apple now what i will do it i will install using the command right a uh, docker apt install docker io right so let me just show you that docker i don't have anything installed over here <coughs> So it's showing me that it's provided recommendation that you can using this three command you can install the docker okay anyways i have uh, the command just i'm following so it will install the docker on our ubuntu ec2 instance okay so as my uh, i'm using for the free type t2 micro so that uh, you know the cpu ram everything is hitting 100 percent this is for the testing environment so that's fine okay so if i check here the docker so is i have anything yes uh, i'm getting the uh, the response from the docker which command do you need so the docker is already installed if i go for docker hyphen version i should be able to see any version over here no hyphen hyphen version 
yes so docker version is this right the build and everything is done okay now the second thing is what i will do it i will add docker ubuntu into docker group because i need some executor permissions right it should uh, throw me some error in the runtime so after addition just i will refresh uh, my group docker group i have added ubuntu in the docker group right so after doing that i mean even i have to give the permissions to the socket i use the permission which i am giving you over here is read write and executor permission the 77 is provided with read write and executor permissions okay so this point is done so now what i will do it quickly now i'll go back to docker hub right here i have so they are providing already the docker image command right here by using this i can fetch uh, sonar type nexus 3 so just i will flick it over here and i will fetch uh, the image of out of this okay so if you check it over here then it's getting downloaded docker image before that i don't have any docker images in my ec2 instance okay so that also i will show it okay so after that image we will create a docker uh, container of our nexus repository okay so let us just did do i have anything over here so yes i do have sonar type nexus which we fetched okay okay we have a docker image right if i check it over here i should be able to see docker images now what we will do it we will create a docker uh, container out of our docker image okay so what i will do it i will give the name tag name tag as uh, nexus so it should be name of our container okay and i will give the port mapping so i'll give the port of uh, 8081 with uh, my uh, vm right the local and I'll give uh, the name of my image. So what is the image, Docker image name, or is the same over here? Just I'll click it over here. So if I hit uh, enter over here, there will be one container is created, one container ID is given over here. Okay. So if I check uh, Docker PS, I should be able to see one Docker container. Okay. Which is up and running with the 10 second, right? So now in order to use that, uh, just I'll go, let me zoom out again. So if you check here, uh, let me zoom out out again right i will close this part so you should be able to see now clearly okay so this is a container id and we are using a sonar type as image and it's created 22 seconds ago and up run and uh, this is used and it's port map with 8080 of container to 808 of uh, vm okay and the name which we have given you over here while creating the container out of a docker image nexus okay so if i check one more time uh, is my uh, docker ps is up and running yes it's running so now the thing is that we have not enabled 8081 port right so i'll go quickly back over here then what i will do it i will add a one rule or do a favor just i will change over here and i will add a uh, docker uh, rule for that 8081 right so now the docker is up and running over there so what i will do it i will go and i will try to access with 8081 so now if you check it over here so i am able to access now 8081 port right with the port i am able to access now okay that's fine this is through g with the browser okay if i want to go and check uh, how i can do it is that uh, just what i have to use i have to use net start for the networking tool TULNP. If you hit it over here, it will show you that yes, 8081 one port, okay, one port uh, is using or system is using, and it's used for the Docker proxy. So the reason for that we are mapping with this, right? So this is on which this called Docker container our Nexus is working fine, okay. If you use this command and you are unable to find, then it will prompt you that you must install this tool. So you follow that. Uh, command and install net start after that you can uh, you can use this command to ulnp to know that whatever the connection local address connection is uh, in of your ec2 instance is working whatever the service is working on this ec2 instance it will pump you the pid also okay this is how your working will be working now if you go back here i should i'm able to see nexus repository over here okay so now if i want to log in just click sign in over here then it's showing me that uh, you are password is over here right so with this uh, here you can just go into the container and check the over here then you'll find a password over here okay the user is admin okay now what i will do it i'll go back to docker here right just i will use docker ps hyphen a 
so my docker container is working here right so now what i will do i will go back uh, i'll go inside this container so that i can know what is a password okay so i'll use the command to just go here docker exe hyphen t okay this is a command is used to go inside your docker uh docker container okay then uh, the container id just i'll give the container id so if you kick it over here uh it is required two arguments docker exc id over here let me just check it over here uh, okay i have missed the point bin bash i require to mention this also right so i'll do it over here and i will use bin bash right so i'm into the docker container now right so if you check it over here then you will be able to see the docker container okay so now after that uh, let me just try exit so i'm already exit so i'm using same command now to into the docker container after going docker container i have to go back to with the path of uh, nexus data where my password is stored okay cd if i ll over here let's over here uh, where i have then let me just see okay there is already existed over here just what i will do it i will go back over here and i will use nexus data nexus data right it's data okay fine this is fine i'll use this command as cat uh, just to know what is the password just over here then hit enter okay uh over here so this is the command this is the password it just you have to copy up to the bash okay then you go back here admin as admin is the password click enter here yes completed required sign up okay i'll click over here and then it asked me that you have to rename the password just i will give it just to remember my name i'll hit enter over here okay so just i'm clicking enable analysis access fine the setups have been completely done so i can use my admin and the credentials to log in over here okay so if you check over here you'll find a lot of options over here if you browse here then you have uh, multiple uh, <clears throat> you have multiple uh, like uh, all the repos right repositories and you can use the format over here the basically uh, what is used mainly is the maven releases and maven snapshot and even you have nuggets also you can go for the uh, proxy if you have any downloaded artifacts then you can upload from here okay fine this is how we have uh, i have mentioned okay that you can use an access installation using docker container okay so just uh, this is at uh, this episode we will see how you can create a cicd pipeline and you can push your artifacts to this repository in the next up uh, next tutorial okay uh, don't forget to share subscribe thank you very much see you for the next episode don't forget to share and subscribe